Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net. We are at GDC 2016 at Logitech Suite to talk about a new mouse. Called, it's a wired wireless mouse, the G900 Chaos Spectrum. Before getting to that, all of this coverage is brought to you by Raw Fury's new Goner game. Chris, I'm joined by Chris Pate again. You've probably seen him before. And we're talking about the mouse today, so what's the top level here? So this is our new wired wireless gaming mouse. Uh, we wanted to make a wireless mouse that was professional grade so that pro gamers could be uh, comfortable using it in, uh, in tournaments. Very cool, and part of that is the sort of weekender tournaments. So with a wireless mouse, you've got battery concerns. How are sure. you addressing that? So uh, really, people don't, uh, people have three concerns when it comes to wireless. Uh, they're worried about latency, they're worried about battery life, and they're worried about weight, right? So we've got, um, uh, best in class wireless performance and we actually outperform wired in many occasions. Uh, we have uh, great battery performance. You can go, like I said, a ter full tournament weekend. We have uh, 24 hours of run to die, constant uh, movement uh, battery life uh, out of the box. And you can get up to 32 hours if you turn the lights off. And the last thing is the weight. We've uh, made a lot of effort to remove weight out of the product. We got down to 107 grams, which is significantly lighter than uh, other uh, wireless gaming mice and, and uh, as light as a lot of wired gaming mice. With wireless, one of the things that we constantly see sort of people talking about what mouse they should buy, it's always, I don't want to use wireless for gaming because it dies or because the polling is not fast enough or whatever. Uh, with latency specifically, what, what sort of your latency expectation, what are you doing to you know, reduce that concern? So we've been making wireless mice for uh, a little over 20 years now, and we've been making wireless gaming mouse for a long time as well. Uh, we have a lot of expertise inside the company that allows us to create very high performance uh, 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 gaming mice in wireless. Uh, we actually, um, not only do we outperform uh, other wireless gaming mice, we, like I said, in terms of uh, cursor uh, uh, motion, uh, sensor, sensor reactivity, and in terms of uh, button response time, uh, we outperform a lot of wired gaming mice as well. With testing, so for radio frequency test or wireless testing, uh, this is something we talked about pre-interview that was pretty cool and I think people would be interested in hearing. What do you do on the testing side to sort of bombard this thing with different signals and create impedance and what have you? Sure. We've got a full RF anechoic chamber uh, in our laboratory in Switzerland. Uh, it's about $600,000 worth of equipment in total. Uh, we use that to uh, basically put the mouse in a totally uh, RF neutral environment and we spin it around on a, on a, on a, a giant turntable thing uh, and we have an antenna that shoots a bunch of uh, uh, RF signals at it, so 2.4 LAN, Bluetooth, uh, microwave, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to throw at it. And we've cranked it up to the highest level possible. We have the the receiver. Um, we'll put the receiver about you know uh, almost two meters away from it, and uh, we get perfect performance uh, the entire time. So two, you've tested two meters away from it. What about the sort of line of sight, straight line testing? You know what's. Uh, what should a user expect reasonably in their house, and what's the lawn range that you've tested? So we've gotten it uh, straight line, no obstacles, up to 120 meters, um, which is not where you should be putting, e even, I mean, maybe if you're using a, a Jumbotron or something, but, but probably you should have com your computer next to you and use a longer video cable. Um, uh, but uh, we, we, we put 10 meters uh, in the documentation, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's more than strong enough for any reasonable kind of setup. Very cool. What about price on this? We're looking at one forty nine. So one one forty nine. Uh, this is the RGB. It's got RGB lights, mm -hmm. and uh, sort of interestingly, we were talking about how if you disable the RGB lights, you get about what seven hours. So uh, out of the box, like I said, we'll do twenty four hours run to die. Uh, with the lights off, it goes up to about thirty two. So a little bit more than eight hours more. And then one of the cooler things that I saw with the software is the battery life indicator calculator. So what, what does that do? So we have a new tool in the software called Battery Assistant. What that does is it allows you to look at what the settings that you've got in the mouse are actually doing in terms of power consumption and lets you make the choices that are, that are uh, appropriate for, uh, for what you want to get out of it. Very cool. And uh, I guess a couple final features here closing out. So the buttons are magnetic, right? They can come off or the plates. Yep. Can come so we've got uh, uh, we've got removable buttons on both the left and right side. So you can uh, remove the buttons on the side and turn it into a truly left or right handed mouse. Um, 
uh, or you can put four buttons on either side, uh, or you can put four buttons on it or no buttons on it at your preference. So you can have it uh, up to 11 buttons at the same time. These are held on by magnets and they're, they're uh, pretty durable. Uh, they stay on uh, pretty well. Uh, additionally, we've uh, developed a new kind of um, click system for the left and right buttons. Uh, we in, we, in the G302 and the G303, we uh, put, put together our uh, metal spring button tensioning system. Uh, with the G900, we've actually gone a step further than that. We uh, have removed the flexing of plastic out of the equation entirely. And what we're doing now is you're rotating around a metal, metal pivot bar, uh, which takes all of the extra force required to deform that plastic out of the click equation. So all you're doing is moving the micro switch itself. And then, as the product comes off the line in the factory, we individually test every single mouse to make sure that those two buttons are within tolerance to each other. So everything has as close to a perfect click as you can get. So that is the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse. It is a wireless mouse or wired wireless mouse, as the case may be. Mm -hmm. $150 will, of course, post reviews and other materials as, uh, as possible here. Link in the description below for more information. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time.